Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host, Ashley, and today we are going to talk about something pitching related that isn't a statistic, but it's two terms that you're gonna hear used quite a bit, and I just wanna help you differentiate between what they mean specifically. So we're gonna talk today about command versus control. And these are two phrases that we use a lot to talk about a pitcher's general skill and how they're able to deliver their pitches to the batter. And I just want you to be able to tell what the kind of distinct differences are between the two things. So basically control means that a pitcher is able to deliver strikes. It doesn't just mean they're able to deliver kind of pitches in the general vicinity of the strike zone. It means that repeatedly they are able to get the ball across home plate as a strike. This means that if a batter was not to swing at the ball, it still gets called a strike by the home plate umpire. We're not just talking about pitches that kind of confuse and disorient batters and make them swing at them even though they're outside the zone. We're talking very specifically about pitches that are within that designated strike zone, especially, and this is extra important if they're able to do it with their secondary pitches as well. We're not just talking about having your fastball cross right in the middle of that strike zone. You have to be able to do it with your secondary pitches as well, meaning that if you're throwing a curve ball, if you're throwing a breaking ball, those sliders, those different things that we talked about. I'm gonna throw pitch types up here if you wanna have a link to that. But basically any of those secondary pitches that they use, and typically most starting pitchers will have at least four different types of pitches that they can use with control, meaning that they're able to throw those pitches for strikes regularly. So if a pitcher is routinely able to strike out hitters, typically that means that they are going to have good control of their pitches because they're throwing for strikes more regularly, they're getting ahead of that batter more regularly, meaning that they're throwing more pitches than balls, and they're getting into like an 0-2 count more frequently, which is a pitcher's count, means zero balls and two strikes, and that's usually a very good sign of a pitcher that has good control. You can usually tell if a pitcher doesn't have good control for an evening, if they're throwing a lot of wild pitches, if they're not able to get those pitches across the strike zone, if they're getting into a lot of hitter friendly counts, which is a three and O count, which means three balls and zero strikes, or a three and one count, which means only one strike and three balls. That's usually a good sign that that pitcher is not having a great day and that their control is lacking on the mound that night. If a pitcher doesn't have good control in general, they're probably not gonna last very long at a major league level because being able to get those pitches across home plate as strikes is a vital part of what it takes to be a quality pitcher. Now, command is similar to control, but kind of a step up. Once a pitcher has good control of their pitches and is able to regularly throw for strikes, they may start to work on their command, which means that they can kind of direct those strikes where they want to within the strike zone. If we imagine the strike zone as being a rectangle above home plate, a pitcher with incredible command is able to sort of paint the corners of that rectangle and throw strikes into very specific parts of it because every batter has weak spots and some of them can't hit strikes that are down and away, for example, in the lower corner. So a pitcher with really good command will know that about a batter and their catcher is going to call for those low away strikes and a pitcher with really good command will then be able to throw the ball exactly within the strike zone where they want it. So when you hear an announcer in a game say something like he's really painting the corners with those pitches, that's what that means. It means that particular pitcher has incredible command of their pitches and is able to do this with regularity, finding those areas of the strike zone, which are just borderline and really hard to hit and finding ways to get the ball to those particular zones and striking out more batters as a result. Command is especially important later on in a pitcher's career. When you're young and you have a lot of strength, it's really easy to be throwing those fastball pitches right down dead center at like 98 miles an hour. And it's just impossible to hit them because of how fast they are. As a pitcher ages, he may start to lose velocity over time. And as a result, his pitches would be easier to hit if he just kept them down the center of the line. If a pitcher has good command, however, he doesn't necessarily need to worry about that loss of velocity because he's able to position those pitches in and around the strike zone in such a way that velocity doesn't matter as much because he's really able to just pinpoint a location for those pitches that makes them harder to hit. As a result, they can kind of let their careers go later on and well past 35, even into their late 30s, because they're just 
that capable of throwing pitches that are impossible to hit. So there you go, guys. Command versus control. They're both fairly essential, especially for a quality starting pitcher, but command just kind of hones in control and makes the pitches just that much harder to hit. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to leave a comment down below. I love reading them. Remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell next to it if you want to be notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when a new episode goes live. And you can follow me on social media. I'm at 90 feet from home on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So until next time, guys, have an awesome day. Bye!